because um, it has to, to address the new paradigm that we were now in. So let's look at the past. And this past is a very recent past, but looking at technology and the development of technology, uh, in the, 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 the speed that technology changes. Uh, this past is a very recent past. Uh, we can think This is an Italian author, Federico Giovanel, which wrote an amazing book on copyright and information privacy, um, where, she, where she considers the balancing of rights between, uh, between copyright and information privacy with a lot of case law, with a lot of uh, examples on, on, on the trends in Canada, in the US. In, uh, in, uh, it's, it's a, I recommend the reading of this book. Uh, to anyone that's interested in this, in this conflict of, uh, of fundamental rights here in Europe. Um, yes, uh, the, the, the US has a right to privacy in, the, in their constitution, but it's not the same as the, the way that, uh, as we'll see, the way that they, they protect the copyright, which is in section 8 of the US constitution. It deeply protects uh, copyright. It states that the Congress shall have the power to promote the progress of science, of science and useful arts by securing for limited times to authors, this is where copyright comes in, and inventors, patents, the exclusive right to their respective writings and discoveries. This was done uh, by the founding fathers, so they, they envisioned this as a way, as a way to, to, to stimulate migration uh, to the US. That's the, that's the, the, the core principle behind uh, of course, the protection of copyright, yes, but uh, not only that, but also as a way to show the world that the U.S. is really, really interested in, in promoting uh, progress. This is called the Constitution Clause, but it's also called the Progress Clause. And that's a very big difference from, from the way that we, I think that we understand privacy here. Because, uh, as you'll see, Article 17.2, of the EU Charter of Fundamental Rights only states that IP has to be protected. The other one was much clearer. It was uh, direct. It was it was uh, it, all, it was almost a guideline. Uh, it was uh, um, limited in time. Protect authors. Protect uh, inventors uh, for the progress of science and and, uh, and technology. This uh, vague. It's not fake because it's been con uh, concretized through directives and uh, regulations um, and, and member state laws. Um, it, it needs to be said that they, they, the, the way that the directives work is that every, every member state will, will have to apply what the directive says to their own context, which means that it's a um, uh, more, more broad, very different views of, of copyright exist uh, in Europe, so it's not a, a single way of looking at it like we have right now in, with the GDPR. Uh, this means that there are more possibilities to balance IP rights against other rights, uh, including privacy, than in the US. Uh, when, what, I mean about, when I mean, what I mean here is that uh, while in the US uh, IP has this very strong standing because of the Constitution, here in Europe, uh, I believe that uh, IP rights and other rights are balanced differently. Uh, right now in Europe, with the GDPR and with the interest that all, everyone is now having in privacy issues, that, that, that relates to the court decisions. Uh, in the United States, not so much, because they don't have a federal privacy act. They have uh, snippets of privacy uh, legislations that uh, Private, uh, privacy acts that, uh, that address the issue, but not something like uh, the, the GDPR. So, this is probably the most important one, for me at least, is regarding the online world. Uh, Section 502 says that uh, the copy, the DMD, this is the Digital Millennium Copy Copyright Act of 1998. Uh, Section 502 says the, the copyright owner may request the clerk of any U.S. district court, uh, not the judge. This is important. Um, while, while here the injunctions uh, have to go to court, uh, 
uh, there, you can just go to the to the to the office of the court and ask for a clerk to to, to, to give you an injunction when when you say that uh, that uh, uh, someone is infringing on your IP rights. Yeah, but sorry, right. that's not an injunction, actually. That's not an injunction. But that's it's, just a subpoena to it's, identify it's a, it's a, it's a subpoena. I'll, 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 I'll explain it later. Yeah. This, is, this is a subpoena that's, is in, that, that, is in, that is involved in, in a case. So this, yeah. this, this will be, this is, this is what the law says, and then you'll go through, you'll go through, you, have, you have to use this inside the case, exactly. 